This video is a review of AP Biotopic 2.3, Cell Size, an Essential Topic. I'm Mr. W from learn-biology.com, where we guarantee your success in AP Biology. Please sign up for a free trial today. Use the relationship between surface area and volume to explain why cells are small. Cells need to have enough membrane surface area to allow for diffusion of substances and molecules in and out. Everything that gets into a cell gets there through the membrane. And it might be counterintuitive, but a small cell has much more surface area relative to its volume than a large cell does. Now, let's look at the math. If you have a cell that's one micrometer, one micron on the side, that's its length. Then its surface area, if it's cubic, would be one times one times six. Think of the formula for surface area for a cube. Its volume is one times one times one, and therefore its surface area to volume ratio is six to one. Six units of surface area to every one unit of volume. Now, if you have a larger cube, one that's 10 micrometers, then its surface area is 600. Wow, that seems like a lot. But its volume is 1,000 because volume's a cubic function and it's going up much faster. So if you look at the surface area to volume ratio, it's 0.6 to one. So that's the math and here's the fact. As an object gets larger, its amount of surface area relative to its volume decreases. And in this example, the larger cell surface area to volume ratio is one tenth that of the smaller cell. And a large cell can't efficiently use diffusion to get the nutrients it needs in, oxygen, food, into the cell, and to get waste, carbon dioxide and metabolic waste out. Are you asking yourself, how am I gonna get a four or a five on the AP bio exam? It's a good question because it's a hard test, but we have a plan for your success. Go to learn-biology.com, sign up for a free trial, and complete our interactive tutorials and interactive AP bio exam reviews. We guarantee you a four or a five on the AP bio exam. See you on learn-biology.com. Why do organisms need to increase surface area in certain tissues? How do they do that? The why is in order to increase the surface for diffusion of molecules or heat. How? You can have thin sheets of tissue, like these thin sheets that make up the gills of a fish that have been dissected out. That's for increasing the intake of oxygen and the diffusion out of carbon dioxide. Or if you think about the ears of elephants, those are big, flat sheets of tissue that enable the elephant, which has very little surface area relative to its volume and lives in a hot place to get heat out of its body. You can also have highly folded surfaces like the internal membrane of the mitochondria or the structures that are called villi that make up your intestine. And there's actually folds within folds. Explain in terms of surface area why there are no small mouse-sized marine mammals, and why some marine mammals, like the whales, the largest organisms to have ever evolved, are really huge. Mammals are warm-blooded. Ocean water is cold. Increased size decreases the surface area to volume ratio, so there's less heat lost to the environment. Think about a mouse. It's small. It has a lot of surface area relative to its volume. It would be over here on the graph. It couldn't survive because it would experience so much heat stress in the water. The smallest marine mammals are the otters, and they have a thick coat of fur that helps them maintain their body temperature. Whales have evolved to be larger and larger for a variety of reasons, but one of which is that by being big, they lose relatively less heat to the environment than a smaller animal would. It's all about the surface area to volume ratio. Want to learn more? Sign up for a free trial of the website that guarantees your AP biology success. Learn-biology.com and watch this next video.